right, VR heads, you asked for it. Um, I'm going to stay up and uh, make some videos tonight. It's going to be crazy. Uh, this is just going to be a string of some random things, so prepare yourself. Uh, first, uh, I'm just going to show you the uh, Mirror's Edge suicide because it's it's ridiculous. Okay, so here we go. And I also got my Xbox controller working. I had to unplug my Hydra. Uh, and, uh, yeah, then it got recognized. Sweet. Alright. So here we go. I am going to stand up for this one. Oh. <laughs> oh. She's a little... Maybe she's a little shorter than me or something. Okay. Ah. Let's go. What's the hold up? I'll tell you what the hold up is. I'm done! Oh god. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Oh god, that's, that's far. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna do this. It's nuts. There's people down there. I'm sorry. crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my. I hope I wasn't in the way of the video. Alright, so, uh, yeah, the going down was kind of a little bit of a, of a thrill. Like, the, the vertigo on the edge of the building was, was probably the worst. Uh, just standing on the edge and looking down was probably the worst part of it. Oh, weird. Alright. Excellent. Uh, let me quit this. And, um, one of the things that's uh, kind of a drawback is um, the frame rate that I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting like 30 frames a second, and it's, uh, yeah, it's just like, it's if I'm still, it's fine, but as soon as I start turning my head around, it's like Museum of the Microstar. I get a low frame rate in that as well, and that also is not too great when you try to turn your head around and or, or turn your head fast um, it, it breaks apart and that's no good I can see why they really recommend having the 60 frames per second and, uh, and beating that out because it really makes a difference once you're moving your head around and looking at this and that um, it's a lot smoother in 60 frames a second and I have something to actually show you that as well um, I have this program, I forgot where I got it from, but it's called Cube Mark. It's kind of like a benchmark uh, program with a whole bunch of cubes, and they made an Oculus Rift, um, like a version of it, which is pretty sweet. Um, that's cool. No, there we go. Play, very good. Uh, someone made this in Unity, fantastic. And here we go. Awesome. So it's up. I don't think this controller does anything in this, but this is Cube Mark. Uh, it looks pretty neat. It's pretty wild. They have these cubes just floating around. And if I look all the way behind me, there's a humongous planet. That really surprised me the first time. I didn't expect anything to be behind me, and lo and behold, it's like, what the hell? Um, so there we go. I have this mouse, and I'm going to click on this cube. I think when it spins fast, I think that's the 60 frames a second. So I'm going to go ahead and ask it to start the um, the benchmark. So now I'm in 60 frames a second. And although this is really weird because I'm floating in like a tornado of 5,000 cubes, um, every all the cubes are moving very smooth. The background's moving very smooth. Uh, and when I turn my head, there's a bit of motion blur. But I can still track individual cubes even far away, which is really awesome. Um, so I can have some pretty decent head motion here, and it's cool. Um, and as you can probably see, like um, the target is 60. I'm getting like, uh, you know, basically 48 frames per second and above. Probably can't see the the text. Probably too small. Um, but it's uh, still it's very very smooth, very very smooth. So many cubes. So many cubes. I really like this. This is like 
What if this was Ender's game, dude? Like, the enemy's base is down. <laughs> yes. Um, this time, I've got 30 frame a second target, 30 frames per second target, and uh, we'll check out the difference here. Um, so at 30 frames per second, it's noticeably less smooth. Like, the motion of everything is less smooth, and I can no longer track individual items as I turn my head. Like, it's really... Like, yeah, it's like the motion blur is that much worse. Um, yeah, it just could be a lot better. Yeah, so 60 frames certainly makes a big difference. Um, I would say at least you want to be at like 45, 48 frames a second. And if you're there, you're probably going to have a good time. Um, yeah, any, any lower than that, and it's, it's going to start to, to break the illusion as soon as you start moving your head around, which is no good in, uh, UDK. I have my Xbox controller working in UDK as well, and, uh, I want to show off something, um, that my, my brother came up with, um, which was really fun and that I didn't think of, uh, so I had him in UDK. In a, in a level, and I was like, cool, dude, you know, let's, uh, you know, check out UDK, and he's like, yeah, yeah, he's walking around, he's checking it out, he's like, wow, wow, um, and then, I was like, you ready for this? I typed in fly, and I was like, get ready to fly, dude, get ready to fly, and, uh, he tries it a little bit, and he's like, hold on, and then, he does this. So awesome. He's like, I'm Neo. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, I got stuck over here. Ah! Get me out of here. I think I can sneak out. Yes! No! Yes? Can I sneak out? Yes, I have snuck out. I am now flying. Awesome. I had to go over to the city. That's somehow, for some reason, outside of DM Deck. This whole uh, Johnny, Mano Johnny Manomic looking thing here. Ah, yes. I need some bad power gloves so I can manipulate the network. It's so cool. It's like, oh! Oh! Yeah, so that's, uh, this is a lot of fun. Oh, it's like Superman when he floats up. Oh, sick. All right. Yep, definitely dig flying. That's, uh, that's a lot of fun. Will Superman finally have a good game? Ha, <laughs> he might in VR. Even flying through the hoops might be, <laughs> might be entertaining. <laughs> All right, excellent. Um, I think that concludes the random stuff segment. Um, so I am going to do another Vireo video after this. Uh, I'm going to try uh, Half-Life 2, I guess, and see how that is. All right, excellent. Thank you, everyone, for checking this out. And until the next VR experiment. <laughs> I'm going to go back and do that Neo shit again, man. That was hilarious.